Ron? Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nip is competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasher too? I don't know, Gran. Dog shows aren't really Nasher's thing. <laughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> what are you doing here, Dennis? This is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mouse is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasha and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riffraff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek, who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to. But keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the Mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> Right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm, well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out! Los Chihuahuas Bonsoleros, ladies and gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what Chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, I've lost my glasses. Oh, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwolf. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwolf. Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Mini Wolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm, I'm not sure that's allowed. <laughs> Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. I loved your act, Athena. So chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Beano Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Cough Drop. <laughs> <laughs> 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Biter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, I, I, I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, my goodness. These beastly creatures might actually win. <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt! Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So, luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew we would do it, my poochie witchy. <laughs> class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. Uh, it says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Of course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. <laughs> this is an Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Result, Nasha. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> Pay 
Attention, class! Today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mmm, lemon drops. I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <coughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes. This buckle is evidence that Bino Town was once home to a warrior tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honour to meet you. I've read all your books. Ah, oh, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on p p police business. He's uh, helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real warrior tribe stuff. Come on! <laughs> wow! Looks like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasher. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. Uh, terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasha! Stop! Wait, Wait for us! Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that boon! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying, but it's been a while since breakfast. Dennis! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, come on, Nasha, let go. We've got to get out of here. Ah! Oh. Ah. Quick, this way. Looks like we've given them the slip. Check this out. I knew it. It's not Walter. It's me. I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe. Mmm, an ancient warrior pie. Oh, Mrs. Creature, I found them. <laughs> How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Dude, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. 
Why'd you steal it? The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. Don't try to follow me. <laughs> Did you hear that? The treasure of the lost tribe. What's with the weird moves? Come on, we've got to stop him. we got to defend my ancestor's treasure. I just can't believe it. Professor Smith, I don't understand. I thought you... <laughs> <laughs> a booby trap! Ah, oh, those eggs must be hundreds of years old! God, no wonder they whiff! That's why Smith was doing those strange moves! That scroll tells him where the booby traps are, too! Walter, if we follow Smith, he'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. Just get me down! Don't worry, that rope's so old it'll break any... <laughs> Moment! Leave me alone! I'm fine! I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all! Jump for it! <laughs> wow! The treasure of the lost tribe! And that's gonna be King Dennis! Hey, you leave my ancestor's stuff alone! Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure. And I'm not gonna let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Take that! <laughs> oh, oh, you little one. Come on, lads! Run for it! <laughs> Oh, 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 no! The Gunch Pit! OK, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me! <laughs> Told you they were fit! Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. Oh, Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief. But it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognise this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe. It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum. He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say, you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I had, uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. Still on the skateboard, Dennis?
shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Nasha. <laughs> I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. Oh. oh, no! But, Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize-giving soon. Prize-giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change, you get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest oh. with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here, I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get the skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> <laughs> you never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Ooh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. 
It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the Best Behaviour Prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> if life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> Now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Eh? Why's the dog catcher here? Gotcha! <laughs> 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 What? No, miss! Please! Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now or there's no prize. <laughs> Run, Nasha! So, I always tie a piece of string to my big turn. What's happening? Bring that dog here! Oh. special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis We're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> oh. Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. And 
never forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. Except, perhaps, a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. This is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. You guys coming? Oh, taking the canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya. Uh, Mrs. Creature! Colonel! Yes, many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> What is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it! <laughs> Looks like they want to race! <laughs> Faster! Stroke! 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 <sighs> oh, oh. Uh, hi, Walter. What's up? Pull that canoe over! I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest! The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, uh, we may have a problem here. Go back! <laughs> so stupid! Why did you have to do that? Oh, 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 I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh, no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, 
gone. Children are missing. Oh, we have to call the authorities. There's no time. Squid could be eating their brains as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! Oh. Time to have some fun! their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. OK, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We'll starve! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it, oh, it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <gasps> yes! Almost there! Finished! Oh, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued, which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> oh. Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. <laughs> under control. I declare this land carnal country. <gasps> and now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! 
Yes, Bee, it's a horsey. <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Yeah. Horsley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, Bee? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Come on, Bee! I'm doing my best. Hello, Gran. What's all that crying about, then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse, and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right, then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. <laughs> oh, she is in a mood. <laughs> that's because nobody's got any. Hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Where horsey? Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> horsey! Horsey! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Uh, nay! <laughs> B! No! Horsey! Eat! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. Real horsey! All of you! Out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Pieface, where are we going? OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. Where horsey? <laughs> Father! Oh, 
horse with him, has he? OK, I'll, uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right! before we get into any more trouble. Well, I'll see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. <laughs> So, here they are, under starter's orders, for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster, Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, their neck and neck gets anybody's race. Come here, B! <laughs> Faster, Grand! Right side. At least B was happy. Even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go then. Giddy up. Hey, <laughs> Off to. I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we can't.
can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, Pie Face. Savour the taste of freedom. OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, all right, let's go. School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely you can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <coughs> Aha! Uh, hello, Colonel. Has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK. Technically, that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. <laughs> Tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. But for some reason, Mrs. Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike. A month. Cycled through some wet cement. Six months. And some thorny bushes. Two years. But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years. Dennis. How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded. But what for? For ever. This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded. I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha-ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. Ha-ha! So much for being... Inside. Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah, After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis, it's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room. You too, Nasha. <laughs> Now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Oh, 
to trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. <laughs> I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Quiet? Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Mm. <laughs> oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. Lovely to see you here. Yes, I know. Yeah. Oh, grounding Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it, but only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 